how erectile dysfunction causes infertility and what you can do to fix this for yourself. If you want to find the answer to this distressing problem, please watch the video and I'll tell you what to do. I'm Dr. Malpani from Malpani IVF Clinic. I'm an infertility specialist and I've been practicing for 30 years. And a surprisingly common reason for childlessness is male sexual dysfunction or erectile dysfunction. I use the word childlessness and not infertility because technically these couples are not infertile. They're fertile, but because the man is not able to deposit the sperms in the vagina, he can't get his wife pregnant. But as far as the rest of the world is concerned, it's still an infertile couple and they'll always blame the wife and she has to bear this brunt because she obviously can't tell the rest of the world, hey, it's my husband who has a problem. He's got erectile dysfunction and he can't have sex with me. And it causes a lot of angst and the husband blames himself. I can't even do such a simple thing like have sex with my wife. I'm useless. I'm impotent. I can't get a pregnant. And he feels so guilty because his poor wife has to listen to all these taunts and insults from the rest of the world for a fault which is his. And she feels helpless. She can't do anything about it. And she actually feels maybe he doesn't love me. Maybe there is something wrong with me, which is why he's not being able to get an erection when we have sex. And interestingly, these men are able to have night falls, what's called nocturnal ejaculations, which means their physical apparatus obviously works fine. But they have what is called situational erectile dysfunction. And often the problem is not in the penis. The problem is in the head. It's in the brain. And for whatever reason, either it's a childhood problem or there was sexual abuse as a child or they've been brought up in a very conservative family where no one talked about sex or they were caught masturbating as a child and as a result of which they think of sex and sperm and the penis and all this stuff as being dirty can't talk about whatever the reason may be these guys just cannot provide a sperm sample on demand when their wife needs it so that they can have sex during the fertile period and make a baby so it causes a lot of angst and the trouble is it's not something which they're open about they don't even know whom to talk about it they're ashamed they don't know whether the family physician is the right guy and often a lot of gynecologists or infertility specialists don't even have the time or the energy to find out the answers to these questions and quite often during the consultation couples will lie about these things no one wants to talk about sexual problems in the first consultation especially with a junior doctor who has this form and who's just ticking off do you have sexual dysfunction no how often do you have sex four times a month which is a complete lie but you know who's going to tell the truth obviously and as a result of which they hide this truth which just makes worse because if you don't tell the doctor the truth how is he going to solve it i have good news for you especially for guys with premature ejaculation which is situational which means they lose their erection during the time of having sex which is erectile dysfunction or they get it too quickly during the time of having sex which is premature ejaculation which is one sense is the same spectrum of sexual disorders one at one end and the other at the other end but especially for men with erectile dysfunction we can actually help you get an erection and ejaculate not perhaps when your wife's vagina because i understand that can be threatening and requires a lot of cooperation from her which she may not be able to provide but which you can do for yourself so a you can take medical therapy for your erectile dysfunction there's lots of equivalents for viagra and cialis available in india which are not expensive please ask your doctor to prescribe this but obviously just that is not enough you can then use a vibrator or a massager to provide a penile vibratory stimulation to the frenulum of the penis so that when you apply it to an erect penis you'll be able to ejaculate on demand yes i understand that's not enough and then you need to collect that semen sample in a container and then use a pasture pipette or a catheter to deposit that semen sample into your wife's vagina. Sounds complex, but honestly, it's not. It's just a question of breaking it up and solving each problem one at a time. Now, most couples can happily do this in their own bedroom for themselves. And I understand the frustration and the angst that you need assistance to do this. And in the past, couples would have to go to a doctor to get the artificial insemination done good news is you don't need to do that anymore you can ask the doctor to prescribe the viagra so you can take it for yourself and get the erection pretty much on demand you can use lubricants such as liquid paraffin to make sure that the erection remains you can use massagers and vibrators to help you ejaculate you can collect this and then do the self-insemination for yourself at home 
And the good news is the self-insemination kit or the comprehensive fertility kit or the DIY kit is available for you online on our website. You can order it and we're happy to courier it for you. Everything is sterile, ready to use with all the instructions you need. So please come to www.drmalpani.com. That's drmalpani.com. And we'll be happy to help you overcome this distressing problem of erectile dysfunction, which results in your inability to have a deeply loved child. We look forward to helping you to have a baby, no matter what your sexual dysfunction may be. Let's just bypass all the problems and get the results we want. And once you have a baby, perhaps then it'll be easier for you to work on your sexual problem and resolve that because then the pressure of performing will no longer be there.